Now, we also saw Sam Thompson take on Creepy Crawley's height and even some complex JLS dance routines in the jungle. Very good. Thank you. But Very today, good. it's not just JLS Saturdays, I do it all back. <laughs> uh, but you today we are setting the king of the jungle a different kind of challenge. Have a look at this. Wait a minute. When I think of balloons, I think of birthdays, fun fairs, sometimes just a solitary piece of air on a little string. But when this morning asked me to come down to the Balloon Museum in London, I had to say yes, because I love this morning. Uh, I hope I don't blow it. It's gonna pop off. I'm gonna go in. Hey. 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 Ow! That's so much heavier than I thought it'd be. Whoa! The Blue Museum has been touring around the world with displays in Europe and the US. And now they're in London with a new exhibition called Emotion Air. And it's huge. Oh, wow. Head in the clouds. It's not the Mona Lisa, it's in balloons. Oh my God, that's lovely. Which is basically me. Allowed? Hello, mum. Yes. Wow. Just feel like you want to ah, pop them. Hello. Oh, hello. No, I'm on this morning. I know they haven't fired me yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, please don't fire me. The exhibition features the work of 20 artists from around the world who, using the medium of inflatable objects, aim to explore the connection between art and the human emotion. My emotion right now being pure excitement. First and foremost, Kiara, why balloons? What makes them so unique to art? Well, of course, a balloon is something that immediately reconnects you with your childhood. So it's something that is friendly, that you want to play with, that you want to immediately touch and interact with. But at the same time, it's actually something that an artist can work with as a sculpture. They can create forms, but they can also create spaces with balloons. So it's really something that can uh, transform the idea of art and what an artwork is. This is so cool! I've just been in your massive ball yeah. and it's like a huge swimming pool. Do you even know how many little balls you got in there? We have almost two million. Do, do you, you actually know the number? Yeah, yeah. Oh, two million. Go the ball! Uh, and I don't care anymore! Wow! Tom Daly? This is Awesome! Whoa. That's cool. I've lost my phone. I've lost my phone. What's the weirdest thing you found? Uh, everything. Even a pair of trousers, my tire. <laughs> ah, I don't know. No, I don't that's know. not true. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, that feels so great. Oh. I'm trying to get myself in this exhibition. Just wait there, you just wait there. Just have to get that little tail bit at the end. There we go. Oh no! I'm gonna make a snail. This is meant to be a snail! It looks like a <laughs> Oh look, look at that! Oh, that is a dog. Right then, I feel like we've filmed enough here, so I'm going to burrow in and see if I can stay here all night. Goodbye. Oh, that I looks really good. Wanna go. I want to take the kids. I've seen it everywhere on Instagram. Do you want to come? I'll go. Will you come with me? Yeah, love ball Because I did say to Mars the other day, and he was like, oh, it seems quite a bit busy. That's all right, we're going to Mars. Yeah, okay. It'll be well all right. <laughs> um, two things we learned during that VT as well, mm -hmm. as much as Sam would love the Bloom Museum. Uh, one thing, my mum just randomly texted me and said, Cheryl saw clouds in Barbados which meant nothing, and then she corrected Klaus to Cloda. Right, OK, makes more sense now. So makes now that makes sense. sense. Thank you, got Linda. It, and it. also, Thanks, Linda. Dan on Twitter just said it was King Cox Bakery. Of course it was. It King was King Cox Bakery. Shut Thank down our tattoo you. shop. Oh, what? It's gone. No more donuts. Oh. But you can get a lovely sleeve if you want. We've got Cloda's cinnamon bag. Yeah. We'll take yeah. that. We'll take that. The